Hi guys. What a shocking fucking surprise. So uh, right now, if you go on the uh, on to the Candor New York weather uh, page right now, this minute, it says partly cloudy. Yeah, well, well I guess 98% uh, of the sky is a part of 100%. Partly cloudy. Uh, here on, it is now Labor Day Monday, so uh, some people consider this the, the last day of summer for all intents and purposes, where it is 63 degrees going on noon uh, on the uh, on the quote last day of summer in the Finger Lakes of New York. What is it? September 2nd, 2024, and uh, so uh, I guess it's starting to wind down. At uh, at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So 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 here is my fucking morning so far. Th th this was uh, th this is just ham bones Sunday morning. Just just a normal Sunday morning. So you know for all fucking week they've been talking about just this absolutely glorious uh, sunny day uh, that we're going to have today. Just this bright, abundant sunshine. No chance of fucking rain. And I'm sleeping in that goddamn uh, beat-up old trailer formerly known as the Maggie May because I actually had a full uh, ha house last night for the, for the last hurrah. And uh, so... You know, I'm thinking about, well, I'm going to get up and uh, do this lawn mowing from hell on this gorgeous sunny day, and I hear fucking rain drumming on the top of the trailer. It's fucking raining. Uh, eight hours eight hours before it was fucking raining, uh, the goddamn weather forecast uh, was saying I was going to wake up to this bright, sunny fucking day. <clears throat> you know, and, and, and all of these climate forecasts that trying to talk, tell me what the fucking uh, climate is going to be uh, in the year 2050 or 2100. These motherfuckers uh, in, in 2024 cannot give a fucking accurate weather forecast eight hours ahead of time. So I get out of the fucking trailer and I uh, and, and, and I head into the outdoor kitchen make my my planet saving cup of organic coffee sit down to enjoy a, a cup of coffee uh, on a on a Sunday morning so you know that absolutely gorgeous uh, uh, flower box that I have with these unbelievably outrageous coleus plants. I mean, the single most gorgeous, outrageous coleus plant I have ever grown in my entire life. This fucking thing was four feet tall, three feet across. <clears throat> Sit there, having my fucking cup of coffee in this big fucking wind just just out of nowhere uh, this big blast of wind the, the motherfucker uh, lasted about 10 seconds out of nowhere this fucking blast of wind and it literally picked up a chair you know one of these cloth I call them bag chairs. Uh, literally picked up. I do not believe it. We have sunshine breaking through in Candor, New York. Picks up one of these fucking uh, cloth outdoor lawn chairs and blows it smack into this gorgeous coleus. 
fucking destroys it. Out of fucking nowhere. What one second, uh, you know, it's the single most outrageous coleus plant on the fucking planet. One second later, uh, the, the motherfucker is destroyed. So now I have this giant fucking hole in my goddamn flower box. You know, I'm just thinking, I'm just sitting there. Uh, drink, drinking my fucking cup of coffee, you know, and, and saying this is just so fucking normal uh, in, in, in my life that uh, you know, one second you're fucking sitting there uh, having a fucking cup of coffee, uh, and, and you, you know, looking at your beautiful fucking. A uh, coleus plant, and, and, and five seconds fucking later, uh, the thing has just been obliterated right in front of your face uh, by some freak ass uh, fucking blast of fucking wind out of nowhere. <laughs> you know, so, uh, get out there and enjoy your fucking coleus plants while well, you still fucking can. You know, all these, uh, all of these people uh, 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 up here. So anyway, uh, I gotta head into Ithaca, New York. Look, look at this fucking wind. It looks like uh, I don't know what this storm is blowing in on this partly cloudy day. Uh, so. Everyone is clearing out right now, so there will be nobody at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Go from a full house, and, and, and I sit there and, and, and look at my, you know, the balance of my summer uh, for my vacation rental business. <coughs> I have seven reservations between now and the time I close on October. 25th or something like that I have seven reservations six of them in uh, the seahorse tiny house I have one reservation in hummingbird and not one single reservation uh, in my blue dragon <coughs> tiny house as far as I can see into the future. <coughs> I'll catch that woman on the on the way back her never-ending garage sale. Seven fucking reservations as far as I can fucking see. <coughs> and so now I am a <coughs> trying to figure out a you know what my six months in Florida is gonna look like and uh, so I will probably be coming back with a uh, with a uh, <clears throat> more in-depth video but right now I'm just putting the feelers out there if anybody wants to spend six months uh, <clears throat> in the lovely state of Florida from November 1st to April 1st. Uh, I do have a, I am looking for a roommate, and uh, but I will come back, but just be putting that in your pipe and smoking it if you would uh, like to be uh, Hambone and Sancho's roommate in the great state of Florida. But right now, I need to figure out what the hell I'm doing with myself for uh, pretty much two more months uh, in the Finger Lakes of New York where fall is already moving in. My guess is we're going to see our first frost sometime within the next three weeks and the fall leaves are going to peak in about three weeks. <clears throat> and 
this planet has no fucking idea what planet it is on anymore. Ah, see what fucking <coughs> catastrophe can just come out of nowhere in the next five seconds. Enjoy your uh, last hurrah of the summer of 2024, where I notice the temperature has now dropped to 61 degrees and the drizzle begins to fall. Oh my gosh.